Hey, this video is for all of you guys who have ideas that you want to share, who have things that you want to create, who have expressions that you want to emit. And really, the thing that always helps me, because I'll tell you something, and this is kind of like private care's life stuff. All the stuff that I do, I have no idea why I do it. Like, I just, I just don't know why when I do it. It's just I have to do it. And I've, it's been enough years that I trust the process at this point. But in the beginning, it was really scary. I mean, when I first started making YouTube videos many years ago, um, well, not that many, it was like 2012, I had a really hard time just sitting down and doing it. And I know a few people that I can think of off the top of my head that I've talked to and been like, have you started sharing your stuff on the internet yet? And they're like, no, well, and the thing that happens is like, well, why should I share? Why does anyone need to know what I'm thinking? Is, am I just being narcissistic? Is it, it why? You know, no one, no one cares, right? Not true, you guys. Here's the thing. This is how I understand it to be. We're all part of a greater thing, right? So the concept of God, to me, through all my studies, and, and I'm not just someone who decided this stuff one day. I was raised knowing the Bible backwards and forwards, and even thinking about doing a Bible series, which is the books of the Bible, like stuff you didn't know is in the Bible. There's some crazy stuff in there. Um, anyway, I know the Bible, and I have a great relationship with the Christian religion. And I also know other traditions. I've studied them over the course of my life. And I understand the divine to be kind of everything combined and according, I'm sorry, also things that we don't know are there. We're still at the very infancy of our evolution here as humans. I mean, we've only had electricity for a century or two. I mean, think about what we're going to be doing in a thousand years, 10,000 years, 20,000 years a million years, if we'll even still be here, if we're, we won't be completely different in a completely different form. So we don't know everything. And I, I do think that what God is, or the divine, it's the combination of everything and also a greater intelligence. So, for instance, one way I like to think about it is um, you've got your body and you've got your pieces, your parts, right? So let's take fingers, for instance. And you, your finger is you, but also you're more than your finger. So it would be like, you know, we are the finger and God is the... All, right so your finger might be saying oh my gosh I have this really crazy itch I need to be scratched <laughs> that's us saying we need something from God right and it might think oh no my aunt my prayer is never going to be answered as another finger is coming over to scratch it so know that if you are called to express something emit something create something etc you're probably this finger coming over to help something else because one thing I've learned especially when I don't know why I'm doing stuff is that later after I do it, someone tells me, oh, I, I needed that exact thing. I was praying for that exact thing. So what it comes back to me is I can't take responsibility for anything I do, really. I mean, this is a good thing. I, it's, it doesn't come from me. The inspiration flows through me. But what I can take responsibility for and what I can feel pride, humility, but pride and um, happiness and, you know, um, worthiness about is being a good conduit is keeping myself clear, is taking good care of the vessel, which is the body and the, and the mind and the spirit and keeping my emotions in such a place that I can receive inspiration and choosing the things that I do in my life to be things that nurture the kind of reality that I want to live in and that I want to create in the world and that I want to be a part of and sign up for and also to represent the, myself, the kind of people that I want to call into my life. So I can't be bitching about something all day long and then ask my friends to be people who never complain, you know? So... Um, basically what all I really want to say here is if you are called to, if you're called to do something, create something, make something, be something, say something, someone needs to hear it. It's not just about you. Get out of your own way and just do it. So how do you do it, right? Well, you take good care of your body. I'd suggest maybe some kundalini yoga. That's really, really good. Just get yourself a little DVD or buy it online and do it in the morning. Um, skin brushing is great before the shower. Get all those old junky things off your body. Drink lots of water. Um, hydration changes your life. Straight up. If you're, if you're hydrated, your life is better. Period. And you can say, oh, well, which water is best to drink? Which water is better to drink? Da, da, da. Well, right out. More water is better than less water, no matter what kind of water it is. But for me, 
living water is better than non-living water. So I do live close enough to a spring where I can get some water every week or so and bring it home in my big jugs. But if you don't, find some water that feels right to you. Trust your inner calling. And do just drink plain old water. I mean, you don't have to like the way it tastes. And people say, I need some flavor. Then just chug the glass of water and then drink the stuff with flavor for fun. Have your nutrition straight. Maybe some raw cacao, maybe some additional mushrooms like reishi and um, those kinds of things. You know, spirulina changes my life. And spirulina makes me much more me. Um, so yeah, taking care of the body, taking care of the nutrition is one way to get out of your own way. Another one, and this is for those of you, this is kind of has to do with my other video about if you hate your job, like life purpose stuff, do it anyway. Whatever you want to be doing, do it anyway. Do it as much as you can, whatever this is, and then your reality will say, oh, she's serious, he's serious. They will actually will do this, and you will start to get more and more and more supported. And so, for instance, here's something that I have just done. This is, I'm going to be doing another video on this little piece. Um, I'm opening up a new jewelry collection starting today. It's not up for order at this time when I'm doing the video, but I'll do it later today. So this baby is the Empowered Abundance Necklace. It's all 24 karat gold, moonstones. Check out this clasp at the back. I can't believe I found that. It's so cool. There's a beautiful little golden elephant down the bottom and then a citrine and then a blue topaz and a couple labradorites. The labradorites are there to clear out your blood in your neck. You know, the whole point is it sit right here and your blood's going to and from your brain. It just clears them out. And with this jewelry, it comes with affirmation. So the whole idea is when you put it on, you hold the the elephant or the Ganesha, and you say something, and then you say something with your citrine, you charge it, you say something with your blue topaz to charge it, and then with each labradorite. And then my idea here is to have lovely, dainty, feminine, beautiful jewelry that's actually badass spirit armor and energetic enhancement. And so I like to go a little under the radar there. I like to be a little covert about stuff. So when someone sees it, they'll just think it's a necklace. But really, it's it's something that enhances your field and protects you and, and, and also enhances you and makes you stronger, makes you more powerful, more focused, more clear, and more abundant. This one's particularly for abundance. Citrine brings abundance. Gold, of course, brings abundance. And then the elephant statue, Ganesha, is the abundance dude, you know. So anyway, that will be up later. Not Like I said, I'll do another video more specifically about that. But I've been wanting to do this for years and years and years. I've been looking at other jewelry and being like, why isn't there this thing that I want? And then, you know, I just decided to do it my damn self. Why not? I was making jewelry when I was a kid out of Q-tips and paint and hot glue and <laughs> just like mad sitting there at my kitchen table making things. And then as an adult, it's like I kind of lost that. And then I one day said, no, forget it. I'm just going to order the supplies and make it and see what happens. And so now I am, and it'll be in small batches at first, so you can pre-order it. And I'm not gonna, this is not a commercial, but I just wanna tell you guys how this works for me, because I just made this two days ago, and now I'm launching it today, or maybe three days ago, I don't know. But anyway, when it comes to getting out of your own way, just remember that it's not just you, your universe needs you, you are important, you are unique, there's no one else like you, there never has been, there never will be. I do believe in reincarnation, I do believe you've been here before, but not exactly you. You were different. You had different experiences. You had different stuff going on around you. You had a different purpose. And now everything alive has a purpose, every single thing. So if that includes every leaf on a tree, it for sure includes you. So, yeah, just um, just get it. You know, love yourself. And know that if you are needing to emit something, someone's needing it. Someone's really needing it and praying for it and asking for it. So complete that cycle. Trust, and then by you providing the things that is yours to provide, the universe can also feed you stuff that you need because it says, oh, well, one end of the battery, the other end of the battery, lock them together. So, yeah, much love, you guys. Um, before I sign off, I'll tell you about stuff coming up. There's a lot of stuff. Um, okay, this weekend, I'm going to New York City. Flying out Thursday night, and I will get there. I'm so excited. I love New York. And... Saturday, during the day, I'm doing a city goddess workshop, so that's for women. It will be in a park. It's 11 to 1. We'll make flower crowns and hang out and revamp our affirmations and our manifestations and stuff. Okay, and then, and connect with other like-minded people, which is awesome. And then, I'm driving all the way back here to Sedona with Soul Sister of Mine, touching up in Denver, going right up to Denver, and there will be a Denver city goddess workshop on the 21st, Okay. So that's going to be really fun. I love Denver. I haven't been up there in a while either. Maybe I'll be able to stop off at some hot springs or vapor caves on the way. 
and then coming back down here and then the 28th and I have not officially opened registration for that yet I'm going to do it today I hope it's a work day <laughs> um, it's the it's an online workshop that I'm doing which will be all about writing affirmations manifestation and one one tip I'll just give out because it's one of the things that really helps a lot um, okay it's not about the words right it's about the feeling so the reason we do words is to get our mind in on it so that we can do this feeling so that's why affirmations are great because they recenter you but if you want to manifest something truly different in your world if you want to really change stuff then that means you need to change how don't know if you if you knew you would have already done it because you would already have the thing that you want so the thing to do is just accept the fact that you are emitting something that's not exactly what you want so start requesting just from divine consciousness which is also you you are a piece of it you can't get away from it you don't need to find it it is you and say, okay, I understand that I'm that I want something different. So because I want my world to change, I am willing to change. I'm willing to grow. I'm willing to learn. Show me. Teach me. Help me see how I can give myself this energy that I want. Because it's all about the energy. Give it to yourself first, and then the dominoes in your world will fall as they may. And then you'll get it other ways as well. So that's one important affirmation is if you want the world to change, say you are willing to change. Because our bodies are an emanation of our souls, and our worlds are an emanation of our souls. Our body is halfway there. So if we emanate what we want to be, what we want to receive through our bodies, then it's way easier to get it from our world. You know. Okay. Um, so that affirmation workshop is going to be on May 28th. It's online. Anybody can join. That's not just for women. And then the next week, June 3rd, is going to be a City Goddess workshop in Huntington Beach, California, just for women. So excited to meet a whole new crop of beauties. You guys, anyone in San Diego, in L.A., like just come on over. And then um, the next day, June 4th, is a sound healing and manifestation upgrade workshop that I'm partnering up with, up with this epic sound healer. He's going to do the sound healing for the first hour. The second hour, I'm going to upgrade the manifestations, give you guys all the little loopholes that I know of. And I do consider myself a pretty good manifester. I've been studying it and teaching it for almost 15 years. And so I've got, I've got some secret things that I can, like, you know, share. And I'm excited. And also, when you bring lots of people together, the energy is just way more intense. And that's for women and men. So the June 4th workshop is for women and men. After that, there's a June 18th City Goddess workshop in Sacramento, California. And then I'm thinking of perhaps going up to Seattle, Portland, Pacific Northwest, maybe hanging out on a San Juan Island for a little bit. Who knows? Don't know yet. June 18th is the last thing I officially have. But I'm also brainstorming a goddess retreat for Hawaii in November. So just tuck that away. Those of you guys who might want to come, it'll be small. It will be a week. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. It's on the planning stages. Anyway, much love. And I would just like to remind you, you're important. You're needed. You're unique. You are made exactly as you were made. You want what you want. You don't like what you don't like. You do like what you do like because you're supposed to. So find your divine center and rock it. Why would you do anything else? On that note, I will let you go. Much love. And I will see you again very soon. <laughs>